Hello, I'm Jeremy, and today I'm going to show you a game that I have a German edition of it called Holster Geier. Um, there's plenty of English versions of this. I've seen it also published as Beat the Buzzard and as Raj, but uh, there are several other versions as well. Um, the game is a two to five player game. It plays in 20 minutes, maybe even 10 minutes, and it's for ages eight and up. Um, it's really a, a bluffing game and a, a bidding game where players will play cards to simultaneously reveal their cards um, to score um, points or to either or to avoid uh, taking negative points. So um, I'll take a moment to show you how the uh, rules work and then I'll come back here and give you my thoughts on the game. Okay, so I've set up here um, Holster Geier and we have um, each player gets a set of cards from 1 through 15 in their color, and there are five sets of cards like that in the game. Um, and then there is a deck of 15 cards, 10 that have positive points going from 1 through 10, and then five that have negative points going from um, minus 1 through minus 5. And the way the game works almost couldn't be simpler. Um, each round, you're going to turn over a card, so this would be plus 4 points, and then each player will select any card from their hand. Let's just say we're playing a three-player game. Each player will pick a card like this. And then they will simultaneously reveal them. And you see, in this case, the uh, highest player, since it's a positive card, will take that card, which will be points at the end of the game. So the player who played the ten gets to keep the four. Then everybody discards the card that they've played out of the game. They don't get a chance to use that again then that's it that's one round then the next round we have here a minus three card has come up so now every player will have to select a card again the same way but the person who plays the lowest card will be the one who takes the uh, card so if we flipped we could see that you know this player played a 15 this player played a 14 and this player played a two so they would um, have to take the minus three. So the game just goes like that until um, all 15 cards have gone been gone through um, in this deck and every player has played all 15 cards that they have um, in their deck. The one complication would be that if um, let's say on our next turn the uh, two came up and then every player played let's just say a one right then what would happen is since all every time there's a tie for the highest or the lowest card, those cards would cancel out. So if all three players played the same card, then the, all cards would get discarded and a new card would be added. So now you'd be playing for both the two and the one. So now in this situation, let's say this player played a 13, this player played a 13, and this player played a 3. The two 13s would cancel out. Anything that's the same value as another player cancels out. And this player would get both cards with just a 3 because they're the only person left standing. So the highest card of cards that are remaining or the lowest card if it's a negative card of cards remaining is the one who claims the card. But really that's it. At the end of the game, you're going to tally up your points. So here this player has 0 and this player has 4 points. And whoever has the most points wins. Um, the one variation would be a 2-player game. In a 2-player game, each player's going to randomly remove um, two of their bidding cards from the uh, deck and uh, two of these um, cards from the deck so you don't have perfect information otherwise it plays identical with two players as it does with three four or five players and that's really it okay so that is Holster Geier or Raj or Beat the Buzzard um, Again, this game has been around for a long time. Let me see if it has a date on it. It doesn't seem to have a date on this. I bet it's from the 90s, though, if not earlier, because I've seen it you know, for plenty of years now. But in any case, the game is really, um, as you can see, uh, simple. It, it's essentially an auction game, but since you're simultaneously revealing the cards um, at the same time as the other players, uh, you are really doing more to read the other players and anticipate what they're doing. Um, you have to play each card in your hand before the end of the game, so you want to make sure that you're allocating them over the course of the game. You, know, you don't want to use your 15 on the first high value card that you get, especially because high cards cancel each other out. So there's a lot of bluffing and there is a lot of reading what other players are going to be doing um, when you're playing your cards. At the same time, you know this is a 15 minute game, if that. Um, 
so I don't want to sell it as something that's overly strategic. Um, the base rules of the game say to play, you know, just one round. Um, I've played it also to pl to um, a score where you're keeping score from round to round. Um, usually the way that that would work is you would go to uh, 71 points and then in the first round whoever gets the most points gets one bonus point. Whoever in the second round gets the most points gets two bonus points in the third round three bonus points and so on. That just makes it a little bit more interesting I think even though it does take a little bit longer. Um, but um, it does mean that you know your decisions change over the course of the game. You get riskier as you fall behind. Uh, just another element to you know what is essentially a really light uh, bluffing slash you know uh, auction game. But in any case, it, it's you know for what it is, it's a really terrific game. It does play surprisingly well with two players. Um, you know, just removing a few cards at the uh, start of the round um, changes the dynamics enough that you don't have perfect information about what your opponent's going to play. But, you know, I would say, in general, it's more fun with more players because you have more chances of cards getting cancelled out and, you know, unexpected things happening. So, that is my opinion of uh, Holster Geyer, or Beat the Buzzard, and um, thank you for watching.